Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to start support vector machine. I had already explained you number of the methods through which we can classify our data, some supervised techniques, some non-supervised techniques I had already explained you. So in this video, we are, uh, we are running a one important file and we have to uh, reach to the um, accuracy rate through support vector machine. So here is first of all what we had. I had opened this file and support vector machine name I had given renamed just now. And uh, support vector machine I had given this title and I had uh, imported pandas as pd. Then next one is uh, library import numpy as np. And I had uh, uploaded. Let me little bit. To zoom this, I think there would be more clarity to you. So from sklearn.datasets import load underscore iris. So iris data set I'm using today to classify my data, right? And training data set and testing data set. Here is, you can see here df equal to load underscore iris. So after that, when I will run this and when I want to see this, this is the complete file. So it is very difficult to see complete file. So let me see what are the features of this particular file. So I'm going to use df dot feature underscore names. Let me run this. So after that, you can see there are four columns, sepal length, centimeter sepal width, petal length and petal width. Right. So after that, I'm going to use, let's say, df dot. I just want to use target underscore name. Target underscore names. So now you can see what are the targets in this file. Targets are Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. There are three species in this particular file. So let me check what is the length of this file because here is when I had pressed this. This one is the complete file. You, we could not, could not be able to see total how much data is available in this particular file. So let me run this and uh, 150, right? There are total 150 uh, data in this file. Uh, data set is available. So let me create first of all data frame. So I'm just creating df1 and uh, I'm just writing pd dot. Here is data frame, data frame, right? And here is df dot data columns, columns equal to df dot feature underscore names. Let me run this. And after that, I can see because rather than complete file, I will print simply heads. We can see df1 dot head. I think head function, you know, head and tail function where we are going to use. So now you can see. Here is first five rows that is visible. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width. So these are the rows. After that, we can see tail also. I think we can use tail function also. So df1 dot tail. And let me run this. So tail last, you can see here, first five rows you can see and last five rows are visible over here, right? So total 150 data is here because first row it has given zero. You can see here zero, right? So that is why it is 149. Otherwise it could be 150. So now what we have to do, df1, right? We are going to use, simply I'm using square brackets. And here is target, target. I'm going to save this. I'm just creating this one particular, using this one particular column and let me run this. And after that, again, I would like to see first few rows rather than whole data. I'm just using, let me, run. So now you can see 
target. There's the one more that column was not available in previous one. Now this target column is added because I had given this specification. I need one column that is target. So it will give you, it has defined all three species had allocated one number, one species zero, another one one and the one two because there are three species of flower. So here is df dot, I just uh, want to see, the, I just want to see df dot target, I think uh, you can see here. Targets, how many targets? Zero, one, two. That means three kinds of species are available over here. So let me df dot target underscore names. Now what it will give you? Names of these target. So these targets, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica. I had already shown you earlier. So now what we have to do, df1, because already we had created this data frame. And now I'm going to use df dot target equal to I mean, that I would like to divide into, uh, I just want to see how many, how many entries through one, right? Because one, two, and zero. How many, what is the data set? I would like to see. So let me run this. And now you can see total around 52 till, I mean, 54. Those are the targets. And after that, let me df1. And again, I will just copy this thing. And again, again, I'm not writing. Here is we can save time. And uh, this is I will write two because. And let me see, right? These are the next five rows. So you can see that means these are starting from 50 right till 100 that is 50 entries of this target number one next another 50 entries 100 onwards to 150 these are target two i mean next next species and uh, when we want to check target zero that is still so i'm just putting up here zero so i just want to see how many entries so let me run this. Okay, 0 to that means, so first 50 is showing. Uh, this one is the zero number species. That means we are talking about uh, this setosa. One means versicolor, third means virginica. So three species are reflecting over here. So let me run this df1. And uh, here is, I'm just writing flower underscore name and uh, sorry I just want to use these commas also so here is flower underscore name and uh, here is I'm just putting up the f1 dot target dot apply and uh, I just want to lambda x and uh, I'm just writing df dot target underscore names and uh, just putting up right and let me run this. And I just want to see what has happened after this particular function. Again, I'm going to use head function. And uh, let me run this. So now you can see, yes. So now you can see in front of name, in front of target code, there is the name of the flower is also there. So now again, you can see that one is right through this, you can use Again and again, you can use the same command here, right? Where we had applied one, two, three, and all these things, you can see in that way. So I'm not uh, just, uh, I, I will just go, okay, I would like to show you this. 
I had already shown you this. So now what we have to do, I'm just writing uh, now the visualization. I will mark down first visualization markdown. Here is I'm writing uh, visualization. Visualization. So let me now what I will import from matplot matplotlib import pyplot as plt right then I'm going to use percentage matplotlib matplotlib inline inline right so let me run this and after that i just want to see because we had already seen right what are the data is available here we can use this df2 equal to df1 and uh, now here is i'm just writing df1 dot target and uh, here is i'm going to use zero and uh, after this df uh, i would write three equal to here is df1 dot target no 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 df1 square bracket then after that i'm going to write df1 dot target and here is equal to one and let me run this after this df3 no, df4 right because one already we had created now so two we had stored zero in three one and four here is i'm going to write df1 and here is df1 dot target equal to two and after that what happened mm. okay 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 this is g rather than h okay <clears throat> right so what we have to do i just want to see df2 first few rows so let me check yes right and after that, I want to see df3, right, dot head. Mm, correct, versi color. And uh, I just want to see next one, I think df4 we had created, if I'm not wrong, df4 dot head. Let me run this. So now you can see versi right? Now what we have to do, let me uh, I just want to see visualization of this okay after that now we have to go for visualization so I just want to use plt dot I just want to see here is a, I'm just giving this markdown as a scatter plot so that could be scatter plot and uh, let me run this and I'm going to use here is plt dot scatter and here is ef2 and here is I'm going to use square bracket and uh, what we can take we can take uh, sepal length centimeters so I'm just putting here right and after that we want to create in between here is I'm going to use from the same df2 and uh, I think we can take sepal width so we can put it here and uh, further is I can use color color I would use I think I can use color red 
mm, color red and uh, after this i'm going to use marker marker i think i can take marker star so let me run this no what happened cannot assign to literal what happened mm. okay 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 that was the mistake i should use this bracket and i should close this bracket that is missing let me run this yes so now you can see this is my visualization of this particular okay both these colors are red right 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 this is the visualization but we can give i think i don't know what is happening here what is on the x level and what is on the y level so i'm just putting up x level mm, here it is i'm just using x axis we have taken i think this and uh, at the y level we can take it i can use plt dot y level mm i can use this so i'm sure now i will run so x level and y levels are visible yes of course sepal length and sepal width right and now what we have to do we want to see that is the data frame of one kind of species i want to see here is another one let me write here and i just want to see from data frame 3 so what i will do i'm just writing here i'm just copying this and uh, control c and control v and here is data frame 3 that would be another species right and here is i will use d f3 and uh, i think not red here is for this we have to take blue okay and now let me run so now you can see you can see support vector machine that is clearly defined this set is reflecting one particular species this set is reflecting clear demarcation in between these two species and now what we have to do we had already given right x level and y level right and after that now what i have to do let me now we will same thing we are going to apply on petal length we want to see this behavior so what i will do i can just copy the same right and i rather than again i have to write and simply i have to change uh this sepal length with the petal length right because i want to create in between petal length and uh, petal width so here is i'm going to write petal length and here is petal width right and uh, same thing i can replace here for this uh, third data frame third second species so i'm just putting up here and i'm just uh, a petal width i'm writing here so what we can do let me run this 
no i think there is some okay 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 petal length centimeter that would be on the this correct and uh, we will take petal width at this particular point and let me check what happened yeah here is one yeah now i think there is no mistake let me run this yeah it's beautifully you can see now the for this this is the division this is the partition in between right both these petal length and petal width of both these species now you can change color also let me i don't want blue color i want color let's say green and for this i want to use color blue so let me run this you can change markers also right you can see these colors has been changed and now what we have to do now we are doing classification so i'm just putting up this mark down i'm writing here uh classification classification and uh, here is from sk learn which libraries i would call from sk learn dot model because we want to classify model underscore selection model underscore selection and what we are going to import simply i had imported in my previous videos also import train test split train underscore test underscore split a equal to df df1 dot drop and i'm going to use here is i'm going to use this square bracket and simply target and comma here is flower name flower underscore name and uh, i want this axis equal to columns columns right so what we did it in a variable we had created new a variable and i have put stored these values i just want to drop because i don't want from my data set target and flower name as i i can show you here is both these columns i don't require right so i had created a new variable to drop both these columns so let me check i think uh, first few rows we can check whether it is dropped or still it is in our data set so let me check yes these both these columns are dropped now only we can see only five four columns sepal length sepal width petal length and petal width so now we come to the let me create another variable also b equal to here is df1 dot target and uh, so let me check this mm, okay fine so these are the uh, these are the mm, this one is the target length 150 and all and after that now what we have to do a underscore train and uh, again i will write comma i will write a underscore test comma b underscore train comma and again i have to write b underscore test and uh, after that what we are going to use train underscore test underscore split 
initially if you remember from askelon i had already called this and a comma b comma we are going to use test underscore size and uh, i want to split let's say 70 30% 70 30% so for this purpose you can you can split as 80 20% also uh, but i am going to use 70 30% because i want to check accuracy rate so let me run this and after that what we have to do i want to check length of a underscore train underscore train i want to check and uh, i want to check okay 105 105 because 70 percent of 150 uh 70 percent in the a this one is the training data set and let me check testing data set length also so length and i'm going to use a underscore test so i think that would be remaining should be fall 30 percent would be testing data set yes of course 45 they are testing data set so 70 30 70 30 percent i had divided and you can divide as per your choice so from sk learn from sk learn dot i'm going to use svm svm stands for support vector machine import s v c and after that i will create model equal to s v c and uh, let me run what happened why it is creating problem no module okay sk learn that's spell, spelling mistake so I'm sure it's very case sense. What happened? SK, okay. SK is missing. SK, SK learn. Now it's all right. So what we have to do now, model fit, we want to check model dot fit A underscore tree and B underscore and uh, mm, right that means is functioning and let me i want to check score so score would be a underscore mm, i would say test and uh, b underscore test what is the accuracy model a underscore test oh, sorry b underscore test accuracy rate is one let me check what happened model fit a train b train okay and this is the let me run this a Huh. Is, is 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 not uh, i mean i had already used this thing so in my another file i'm just showing in this file you can see model score if i will talk about that was 0.95 percent was the accuracy rate so i think that reach up to 96 9.96 percent that is all right so this is the accuracy rate so you can check your accuracy rate uh, by your data set also so I'm sure this video would be helpful. Thank you and keep watching.